And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. Uh, we're getting pretty close to the end and we should hopefully be finishing this in this part. Or maybe it'll take us like another 30 minutes or so afterward. We'll see how things go. But yes, we are in the middle of this stage here, uh, Haunted Tomb. Not to be confused with the tomb that we were just ra raiding. I swear, this area is like 35% tombs. Come on in! It's later time! Oh right, I forgot to do that. Sorry about that. I forgot to take my antacid med during the break. Anyway, here's another slide. This one's a lot slipperier. And it drops you off into a pit of death. supposed to make that. sure how that worked out, but there you go. What? And that time I didn't even make that first turn. My like, thing is, Spyro, can you stop defying gravity? or define physics. So yeah, that was the rest of the gems, and also one of the eggs, so that was entirely required. Also, it's weird that, like, not everything came back. Oh my goodness, please. It's weird that not, not everything came back to life when I died. I 
managed to survive the trials of the catacombs. Now let's find out if your wits are as quick as your feet. Do you remember the riddle? I am a vessel without hinges, lock or lid. Yet within my walls, a golden treasure is hid. What am I? Egg, gimme. A one? treasure chest or a bandicoot? Get it. Very well, a bargain is a bargain. You may have the dragon egg that I was guarding from the sorceress. Will you please give me this egg? You will give me an egg. Seven thousand years for someone to solve that riddle. Now I can finally head off to seashell shore to bury some bones. Sure, you do you. One of those dogs with a funny hat put a curse on me just because I shot him in the butt a couple times. <laughs> he said he turned my tail into a snake. Does it look like a snake to you? It does feel kind of funny, come to think of it. Oh boy, that dog's gonna bang. Behind this door lie the five deadly trials of King Rover. No one has ever survived all five. In fact, it is so dangerous that I cannot let you through this first door unless you're able to solve my riddle. Okay. Here's the riddle. I follow you wherever you go. But the more of me you take, the more you leave behind. Good friends. Shadow time. A giant lizard or footsteps. My, my, you're quite clever for someone with so little fashion sense. <laughs> you may proceed to the first trial. Anyway, hey, it's cool if you don't know, we're playing Smash TV. Ow. Good luck, you'll need it. Speaking of which, I definitely need to practice my Smash TV skills because, uh, as I have mentioned in other streams, we're getting pretty close to, um, to tournament season. You can't tell me that they weren't, uh, they weren't trying to copy Smash TV with this. Grab the thing, nine. Grab the thing, you nine. Where's zero when you need him? Ow. Take the friggin' clue. Here's an egg. Roxy Bone. That was the last egg. That is everything in the stage.
So we're at 5576 gems right now. We have collected 13,576. We have paid. We have paid money bags 8,000 gems. Quite frankly, that's a bit much. Let's go to the dino mines, try to recoup some of those losses, I guess. Something like that. So yeah, this guy will fire as soon as he catches his guns. So I kind of want to outpace him with that. I see gems over there. How do I get those? I think I have to glide from the other side, actually. Sheriff, why are you in jail? I came in here to check on my prisoner only to find out he'd somehow got away again. Then when I came in to look around for clues, one of them rowdy dinosaurs went and locked me in. Now they're out there causing all sorts of trouble and there's not a thing I can do about it. I feel like you're not a very good Wild West Sheriff. Ow! I didn't see that ledge. I was focusing too much on the actual, uh, on the actual dino. If there is anything on the other side of that, actually. Maybe we were already there. Uh, Sparks, why are you not picking up this gem that's like right next to me? Pleased to be answering this question. Apologies. Oh, oh. Gotta charge it. No, oh, hey. I was just looking for one of those. Yeah, it's not the best idea if you're trying to do a quick draw to throw your guns in the air before firing them. Oh. Sparks, please. I think Sparks is specifically not getting the ones that came from the, uh, the cacti. Maybe 
Maybe he's worried that those gems are spiked. You're welcome. Romy, what do you think of that joke? <laughs> you think it sucks? <laughs> All right then. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, that was an unfortunate hit. But I think that actually took care of both of them. Put you, they like they put you into one kind of trouble, only to put you directly into a different kind of trouble. Yeah, that one was in uh, Cactus. That one was in a cactus too, and he got it. Oh. Can't fault Sparks for not picking up gems though when he's not there. I think it must have been the run to the litter, though. Now that ain't a dinosaur. That's the cutest looking dinosaur I ever did see. That wasn't a dinosaur. Anyway. Oh, and that was a uh, that was a blue, so we got uh, full health and an extra life. A very strange place to store your uh, your zone portal. Oh, I can see what this is gonna be. One of them dinosaurs threw an egg down this flooded mine shaft. <laughs> I'd get it back for you, but I ain't such a strong swimmer. Indeed. So it's kind of like that other tunnel where we had to, uh, to go through, uh, basically a wind tunnel, except this time we have to not hit anything. Oh, and you're letting me just restart without going through additional dialogue. Thank you, game. That is legitimately something that I appreciate. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't get hit there.
Oh boy. Ah, I think that was the end too. I'm to think of it. If I, I think if I do hit those dudes, that might be a skill point. I'm not sure. Nope, that's not a skill point. That's death. Well, not death, but start over. I'm guessing there are no gems here. Yeah, sure enough. Another Agent 9 area. second and stop all that whooping and hollering I could tell you what's going on the Bailey gang are holed up in them buildings over there you're gonna have to go in there and flush them out darn dude so we we have gone now from uh We have gone from having a first-person shooter to having a rail shooter. Don't worry too much about the gems, you can actually uh, go back for them afterward. Unfortunately, you don't get that extra point of health here, which is weird. point there was hitting the red dragon in the background who would just otherwise leave you alone. Someone must have put them up to it. Who do you think it was, Sharon? Also, I like the fact that this mod actually bothers to replace that sign. There, there is a mod in effect. For uh, changing Sheila's hair, if that wasn't obvious before when we played as Sheila and her hair was different. I also thought originally that there was a uh, 
a skill point for breaking all of the windows? There is not. The skill point here was get the red dragon. Impressive that this franchise that put random stuff in the start made, <laughs> made think. Uh, they didn't they just didn't know what to put, so they just grabbed any random stuff. Ooh. Look at the secret egg. Sergio. Yeah, I feel like for the third game, like kind of this game, they, they were starting to reach a little bit. Like, what else do we do with this dragon? I think there's a reason why. Um, why they let go of this uh, franchise and moved on to other things, and Sonya did. Soldiers dressed as Napoleon's army. This is true. The sparks pointed over there. I missed one. Went straight ahead. I'm getting the feeling that he is actually pointing to the uh, to the zone exit. Sure, actually. Oh no, he is pointing to, to the zone exit. All right, we're done here. Wait, what? Oh, you're not pointing to the portal. Pointing in its direction for sure, but. Uh, the portal is not it. I think there is one more portal in this area that I kind of skipped. Not to mention, yeah, there was also those gems. I think I gotta come over here. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's the, the cart that's uh, flipped over. I work on my spatial awareness sometimes. This is the same cart. Oh boy, I gotta do this, don't I? No, that's not it. Uh, 
Uh, was there a skill point to do all of the... No, we got a lot of these. Get all the seahorses. Interesting. But no, there is not one for the uh, cacti. I think that might do it, actually, if I do it right. That is a mean jump, though. Yeah, that'll do it. Damn. the last egg. And there's the last gems. I think that's all of the, the regular stages here. I could be mistaken, but I think that was the last one. Which would leave... Yeah, because we've done Desert Runes, right? Yeah, we did. Oh, that leaves two things here. So let's get the more annoying of these two things out of the way. Then we'll go back to the previous uh, worlds and take care of the things that Hunter wasn't there for. Seagulls, archers, lobsters, fish. <laughs> Eagles. I think that lighthouse is where Hunter is. Arches. Oh geez. Well. That probably busted my chances. Ah!
All right, getting a feel for this though. It's fine. Oh, that was really close. <laughs> Couldn't pull up hard enough. As well, we're in the middle of doing this. I decided to, um, I decided to, to take a look at a playlist on YouTube of a uh, guy solving uh, the advent of code problems for this year. Oh, last year now. Um, didn't realize when I tuned into that playlist that uh, the person in question was actually an AOC competitor. In other words, actually gets points. And in order to get points in AOC, you need to finish in the top 100. Oh, just barely. Oops. Well, since I'm here. Pretty sure Hunter's hanging out right here. Where do these flying sheep saucers keep coming from? I just saw another one grab an egg and fly off. This one's super fast, but his saucer is damaged and it's leaving smoke rings. I think I can keep up with them as long as I can make it through those rings. That's weird logic, but okay. I'll be right back. Hurry up already. Yeah, even the game's dialogue is getting annoyed at Hunter being a doofus. Stop telling me about it and just do it. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be this close to him, honestly. And that's why. Where do these flying sheep saucers keep coming from? I just saw another one grab an egg and fly off. One of the mythical one her people that either stay early slash late to even be able to get points or is lucky enough to be in the right time zone. Yeah, pretty much. I'll be right back. Yeah, like the big thing with this is you want to either know the path ahead of time or stay far enough back like far back enough behind him that you don't start to like basically overtake him and need to have like lightning reflexes in order to get into those rings. Which is happening again.
Okay, that was lucky. That was legit pretty lucky. Gave me some room to work with without taking me out of contention. Not sure that that's how physics works. Just before the saucer crash landed. You okay there, Sarah? A little gassy, maybe. Kobe. All right, let's go from a challenge where you don't want to be too far behind to a challenge where you want to be far as far ahead as possible. Yes, I know how this works. Thank you. Why did you just stop there? Wait, that missile miss? Yes, it really was a missile. So was I. Yes, Parks. Toast tastes better with butter upside down. <laughs> This is not particularly good. We're done with the first lap and I'm still in fifth. Well, surprise that counted.
Wow. Very surprised that counted. Actually, I could probably do another dive bomb there. I just need to remember to actually do it. Ah. And miss that ring. <laughs> All right. Why did I not go through that ring? But I wasn't even pressing charge there. And miss that. Yeah, like once you once you hit that third one, your your controls go super wonky. Okay, I'm in second. That's good. Still gotta maintain it for another lap.
that rockets are a real good idea for insurance. Don't I? Do I not have the rocket anymore? I do, I do, I do. Never mind. Jesse, have you seen James? I would like to play the challenge of not having to do these again. I don't. Yeah, these are kind of annoying, but at the same time, it's it feels satisfying when you actually get it. You know what I mean? So that's going to be, except for those two eggs, that's going to be everything in this home world. So let's go back to Honey Speedway. <laughs> let's get this one out of the way. We've done the other two eggs, but we haven't found Hunter yet. Yeah, that's speed record. That's exactly what I'm doing. I have to remember where the hell Hunter is. That's the real challenge of this. trees out there are out of bounds. And a challenge I need that I know they need to either end faster, I'll just be glad they finished. Well, dang. Went for a swim in the honey. There you are. Look out, Spyro. There's a really big sheep UFO around here, and it's trying to get me. I snatched up a dragon egg it was trying to abduct, and now it wants revenge. Again with the sheep UFO. Like, what is it with these sheep UFOs? You wait here. I'll lure the UFO down the river of honey. Okay, here I go. But basically the idea is we don't want to let the UFO actually catch up with us. So just jump over as many of these as you can. If you hit one, like if you hit one or two it's no big deal. It'll slow you down, that's all. If you hit too many, the UFO will catch up and the challenge is over. See that? 
Nobody outraces a cheetah. And look, I didn't even drop the egg. Yeah, sure didn't. You okay there, Nori? Flying saucers suck if one of, if uh, one of those machines can go faster. And we 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 just had one kind of putter to its eventual demise. So yeah, they, they're not great. I think this takes us straight to the uh, to the zone portal that we need to go to. Yep. Claro, you're just in time. A Rhinox skateboard gang's challenged us to a race. They said you're slower than a molten crater fire slug. I stuck up for you though. I told them I've seen some pretty fast fire slugs. Uh, th thanks for the. Nothing. So, are you ready to race these guys? They bet us an egg that you won't win. Let's do it. You can use my special racing board. Every time you do a trick, it builds up turbo charge. You can use your turbos at any time by pressing the charge button. Good luck. And so that's pretty much why we've been learning how to do stunts. Because we need to do stunts in order to do this race. Whoa. Also, to be fair, in that whole, oh, so we're cheating thing, I mean, we, we have been pretty much handling every race by annihilating the competition. How did that get so little? Ow. That counted though, that's, that's neat. That wasn't it. Oh, that put that put us dead last. Great. Press the correct buttons. Ah! Sheesh, all right. No, that's okay. We we made a bunch of uh, nitro power here. Oh, come on.
What? Why did I double crash? Game, please. What happened? I honestly don't know what happened that time. Like, we might be cheating here, but, uh, I feel like the game also is cheating. You think you're so great at this? Prove it. Frickin... See, they've got boosters too. So is it really cheating? I don't think it is. Like, it didn't even give me a chance to jump there. What the hell? Really? Yes! You schooled him like a bunch of dizzy one-toed sand norks. Okay. I guess we won this egg too. Oh, yeah, we won this egg. Oliver. Oliver clothes off. Now that the Rhinox are gone, do you want to try a real challenge? I know you're fast, but I bet you can't defeat all the crabs on the course and still beat me in a race. Want to give it a shot? Why not? All right. Eat my skate dust, sucker. Why are you such an ass?
Where are the other two crabs? There's one of them. Where's the other one? Legit question, where is the other one? There's just a crab missing for no reason. Cool. Alright. Okay, you beat me, Spyro, but you didn't get all the crabs. Dragon of your pedigree should really be able to do both. Yeah, and I would have done both if there were actually ten crabs on the on the course. Right. Fuck you. Oh, I disagree. Oh, come on. I actually got hit by that crab? Whatever, I'll get it on the second lock, I guess. Don't know why I stopped in mid-roll there. That that's that's on me though. That's not going to make it. Also, the last crowd is here anyway. <sighs> that somehow still counted as hitting the, the boost. All right. You know, for someone who says he's so fast, where the hell is Hunter right now? I, I am failing all over the place. And Hunter is still somehow miles behind me. this one heck <laughs> if you wanted to get stuck in the geometry I will not complain <laughs> that's all the eggs or that is not 
all of the gems. I like how it still says that I'm first. Like there's there ain't anyone else on this course. Of course I'm I'm of course I'm gonna be first. First place! Woo! Take that no one. <laughs> Ah, come on, really? No, there's still something here. If I had to guess, it's around the end of the loop. I really wish that I could do a sparks ping while I was on the while I was on the board though. Because you cannot uh, navigate onto the course without being on the board. Ah, there it is. Yeah, there we go. However, we're not done with this stage, apparently. There are still 35 gems left to get. I guess I have to go down under for this. That was the correct idea. It's not the correct execution. Now. At least now you get to see what happens if we're stuck in uh, inside the acid when uh, time runs out. Not a fan of the, the fact that everything respawned.
Like, the problem is trying to repath this entire stage from underwater, effectively. That wouldn't have worked out anyway. We already tried that. I'm trying to take a look at the mini-map as well to see if it can give me any idea of, what, of like exactly where I need to go. Basically, like, there's an under-acid cave right there. But we need to kind of make our way to that. Freaking now. What? Really? I landed directly in the acid? Oh, come on.
I, I honestly don't know of another way to do it than this. I don't know if this gives me enough time. Okay. Whatever. Out of here. And that takes our gem count back to a nice round number. Come to think of it, looks like we're missing a stage somewhere, doesn't it? Oh, you know what it is? It is a spark stage. But now let's think about it. So there are two eggs left here. That would take us to 147. The spark stage would take us to 48. And the sorceress will take us to 149. All right. Not necessarily in that order. We got to we got to our only move left at this point is to go fight the sorceress. There are 150 eggs. As evidenced by the fact that um, the door to the super bonus round requires 149 of them. Uh, let's see. So yeah, there's nothing else we can do at this point, but fight the sorceress. And the spark stage, or uh, the spark stage, is gonna have the remaining uh, gems as well. Indeed. Okay, I'm gonna need to run for that. Can't flame her. Can't say that I'm surprised. Oh geez. Really? <laughs> ah, traded a hit for a hit. Deploy some resources here. We've, uh, we've changed phases, I think. Because I only got to hit her once. I still had five shots left. Okay. 
Plus learned, don't crash into her. Oh, come on. Like, I feel like I was not in control of that at all. Also, why do you deploy the critters so close to the middle where the sorcerer, the sorcerer stands out? <coughs> <coughs> Interesting that it's letting me keep doing this. Eventually, it just kind of lost control of the thing, but uh, I was on there for a bit. Ah, oh, come on. No, like, okay, we're just done, I guess. George, what do you think of that? We're just done, apparently. Not even a, oh, maybe we're not done. Spyro, you've just defeated a sorceress, rescued the dragon eggs, and restored freedom to the lost dragon worlds. What do you plan to do next, hmm? Perhaps a nice vacation in Dragon Shores, hmm? <laughs> You're a real comedian sometimes, Bentley. <laughs> well, at least he's making someone laugh. <laughs> yeah. mm. You know, I still have to find the rest of the dragon eggs. Plus, Hunter seems to have disappeared again, so I should go make sure he's not in more trouble. You Hilarious? haven't seen him, have you? What? Me? Oh, uh, no, no. <laughs> if, uh, if I do happen to encounter him, however, I will most certainly inform you immediately. Hmm. It's a funny thing, Spyro. I adjusted Avalar's portals to take me to the Dragon Worlds, but somehow I ended up here. Uh, maybe my coordinate tables are out of date. Yeah, by a thousand years. That would explain why the book was so cheap. So, now that you're done saving the world again, are you gonna visit me in Avalar? Sure, Laura, but I still have to find the rest of the eggs, and, well, Hunter's disappeared again. Did you say, Hunter? Well, hey, I can help, I just saw him sneak off with him. Agent Nine, isn't that a Rhinoch over in those bushes? A uh, Rhinoch? Ooh, let me at him. You want a piece of me, Rhinoch boy? Eight lady <laughs> punk, come on now. Great concern on these people's faces. I'm sure Hunter is in good hands. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure he will turn up soon. Promise you'll come visit Avalar soon, okay? Now, how many times have I told you not to taste that moose? It was Billy's idea. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that true, Billy? <laughs> This is a pre-rendered cutscene, oh, so, uh, Spyro, great to see no mods you. here. Hi, Sheila. I've been looking for Hunter all day. Have you seen him? <laughs> Sorry, Spyro. Hunter made me promise not to tell you where they went. They... <laughs> you didn't hear anything from me. 
Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, this is happening. It's a sad sight, Sparks. Another noble warrior falls victim to the plague of love. Just look away. Well, I guess we'll have to find the rest of the eggs by ourselves. Come on, Spyro. Take a little break. Let's watch the show. Yeah, as if you don't have a thing for Aurora. Anyway, so I lined up something different for the credits here, as you can probably see. Um, I believe these are the actual fly-throughs from uh, the first game, with some modifications. Because uh, I think uh, most of the uh, most of the, the credits for this game are in this here. They're a bit glitchy on the edges because I think this is um, using like a 16 by 9 hack effectively uh, of a recording of the actual game. So it's kind of clipping out uh, a lot of polygons on the sides um, just for performance sake because it's running on a PlayStation. But yeah, I figured I'd do something a little different for the last time we're going to see these credits rather than just skip them entirely. It's actually a fly through of like all three games, which I kind of appreciate. Although this music is definitely from uh, this version of the game. There was actually a decent amount of work that uh, that went into this, um, like into the original credit sequence for sure. Because like they absolutely didn't like Insomniac did not have to do this, but they did it anyway. And I feel like they they might have been copying off of um, Super Mario sixty four because it does the exact same thing. But it's still it's still a really nice touch, and I kind of wish that they had done this um, for the for the remake. Also, I don't think that uh, that this is going to contain all of the credits. Uh, I think this runs for about like five minutes or something, so it's got to skip a lot of them, unfortunately. But we, we've seen the full credits uh, earlier on. I guess I should probably at least like give my impressions of this game. Um, it is... It's kind of in a weird place. Like, this is a game that I always tend to come back to every couple of years, wh whether it's the original PlayStation version or this remake. Um, I always tend to, to come back to it in some form. And I feel like, despite this game having a lot of flaws to it, that's kind of significant, honestly. They're gonna run out of places for us, yeah, probably. But th this isn't this definitely isn't like one of the best games in the world. 
not by any means, but it has that special charm to it that like if if it hits the right person it's like they're they're gonna keep coming back to this game just like it works for me like i'm probably gonna play this game again in like 2025 Music by Stuart Copeland and Ryan Beveridge. Ah yes, this little challenge that got all a lot simpler but was still annoying and Oh hey, it actually says like Oh no, wait, Moneybags Neil Ross? Okay, so these these credits are I think for the original game. Because it's crediting Neil Ross, and Neil Ross did not have any part of uh of the remake. Also Floaty Ray, I wanna say I've seen that name somewhere else. It was like it has less nonsense than the uh, Crash Bandicoot's trilogy. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that these are the combined credits for the original game. Although it, it credited Tom Kenny as Spyro, but it didn't also credit Carlos Alazraki who did the voice of Spyro in the first game. So this is kind of a weird mishmash. Either that or maybe it actually was Neil Ross and he actually put on a proper voice. Because I remember like in the original uh, Spyro 3, like, Money bags are just Neil Ross sounds like Neil Ross. To the special thanks now, so there's not a whole lot left to do. Joni Tony. It's a good name. Extra special thanks. They fit a lot of the credits in here, though. There we go. Ah, uh, well, the original, I guess, yeah. This is a memorial bit, and I forget the name of the guy who, uh, 
who it was for. But that there's the 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 Dan Johnson. That's that's the dude. One of the main players, I guess, in getting Spyro off the ground. Anyway, with those done, that puts us back here. And there's one more thing that I want to do before the break. And I do say break because I am actually invoking Finish or Bust. We're pretty much to the end of this. We only have a couple of things left to do. I don't want to spend another stream on this. So we're going to be start we're going to be finishing this up uh, after we take a little break here, but like I said, we have paid money bags 8,000 gems. There is only one thing left to pay him, and that is a little visit. Don't worry, Spyro. I won't be needing any more of your money. Now, now, don't look so surprised. I found one of the dragon eggs, and I'm going to sell it for a fortune back at Avalar. Um, no, you are not. Why are you looking at me like that? I am... Uh, <laughs> I've got to be going now. Toodles. You know, you know, money bags. You're a real son of a bitch. And you're gonna give me back every damn gem I have paid you over the course of this game. And you are going to give me that egg you're holding. You call that running? I have been chasing thieves this entire game. You are the slowest I have ever met. in there. I just burn the rest of this money off of you. I think one more hit ought to do it. Yeah, sure enough. No more money coming out of them. Drat! Double drat! Drat, 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 drat! I never knew dragons were so fast! That's it! I give up! I'm retiring to Spooky Swamp to become a haiku poet. They could have given them a different speaking animation. Fuck out of here. Now it says 100% level complete. But we still have one egg left here. So I wonder what that's about. Another thing that we still need to do.
Provided that we don't die first. Is, uh... Is there anything behind here? Yeah, there, there was a gem behind here before. Where is that spark stage? Also, where is this uh, whirlwind taking me? Oh, hey! It is taking me over to this island over here. Which apparently just contains three lives? I was expecting there to be an egg here. Okay, yeah, seriously, where is the spark stage? Is it like in here and I didn't notice? Now. There it is. Okay. So. We only have a spark stage left, then we find one more egg, I think. Which is apparently a secret. And then we're good to get into the super bonus round. But that is going to be coming after the break. This is not going to be a full break as it usually isn't uh, for a finisher bus stream. Uh, mostly I just need to take care of a couple of quick things here. Um, probably still play like one song or something. But uh, we'll be back in uh, just a few minutes to clean up this game. So I'll see you in a bit.